So I'm very curious as to why we got to hear about Brian Dable going to different places, getting interviews, but not Leslie Frazier. It's very interesting, but you know what? I can see why Dable's getting some interviews, though. Oh, I got to hear this. I got to hear this. Please enlighten me. Wait. Please enlighten me. I, I, I got to hear this. There have been times throughout the year, like, we both came into the year hot on Dable. Like, like dude, you got to fix this, fix this, fix that. He makes the transition to the checks mix booth, and the offense improves in every area. Mm -hmm. Allen's ball security improves. Debatable. I was just wanted to see what Debatable. Was. No, that was purely for your Okay, all right. He didn't turn it over as much. He really didn't as much. Well, there were less games when to he play. Went, well, <laughs> there were less games. By percentage, by, you know. Sure. Anyway, uh, so it happened to be an improvement. I saw on tape a lot of times guys are open, guys are not getting hit. Um, we don't know if he's changing the play at the, the line. Now, mind you, only two guys know what's going on in that helmet. Maybe three if Dorsey's. Dorsey's in on it. So Dorsey's in on it. So there's three guys that only know what the play that was called and what um, what Allen may have checked it to. So he may be checking to the wrong place, number one. Number two, he's not hitting some open guys that are going on. Right. So I, like at the end of the season, everyone I know wanted to crucify Dable. I don't put 100% of the blame on him. But what he was able to do with nine new starters with this offense, there's a reason you get an interview, okay? There's guys that are scouts better film rats than me that look and say, that guy was open, why'd he hit him? That guy was open, why'd he hit him? What, what's, why is he not checking his read down here? Yeah, and those people are looking to interview a coach, not looking to draft a quarterback. But if the scheme had the guy open and you didn't throw it, and now it's we third and eight. We see very different. If, yeah, if it's no. third and eight. Okay, so let me, let, me, let, me tell you, let me tell you what really happens in football because you're clearly confused. What the hell did you just say? Allow me to tell you what, what really happens. So if a guy is open and the quarterback doesn't throw it to him, there's two options. Okay. Option one is the quarterback missed it. Option two is the defense read, the, this, is, this is schemed, this is their guy, let's lock, let's lock this play out. Let's go. Well, listen, we can't say that Josh Allen is Aaron Rodgers. Did you just right? have a stroke? No. Josh Allen is Why not Aaron Rodgers. Why would the defense Rogers. purposely leave a guy open? No, I'm not saying leave a guy open. I'm just saying leave single coverage. You take your risks. Every defense is about risk management, right? Every coverage that you run is risk management against an offense. Dable's offense is absurdly predictable. It is. It is absurdly predictable. They run the same concepts over and over and over again. So the tendencies that you see in week two, guess what's still there in week 14? And Every that's not like the quarterback. That. That's not the quarterback. That, what? that is not the quarterback. But if the guy's open. That's not the quarterback. It's not the quarterback if the guy's no, open. No way. You're that outside your guard. That's not the quarterback. And here's why. Yes, it is. No, here's why. It's and not you the call a play into me, and I don't hit the open guy. Is it your fault? No, it's not. Dude, do you think that do you think the guys that are open are Allen's first or second reads? Are you crazy? The guys that they're leaving open are on the back you're side. You're telling of me plays. he didn't have enough time. Now you're blaming the offensive line. No, I'm not. I'm saying that they're on the back it's on the back side of the play. If you have a quarterback, a young quarterback that you know is gonna go read one, read two, the panic mode. Like any quarterback or read one, read two? Mm -hmm. Not panic mode, but read one, read two. I'm just saying You're he, saying Allen should have ran more, is what you're saying. No, I'm not saying Allen should have okay. ran more. Then what what I'm saying is saying? Allen's I'm what I'm saying is Dable's system is is so elementary at times with their route concepts. Because I know there's film guys out there that will say Al Dable is at an elite level with designing routes. He's not. He's not. He's not an elite okay. level play That's designer. We're, we're getting a little bit off topic. We are not getting I, off topic. No, I can't Dable's, Dable's offense is elementary and predictable. I can understand your not liking some of the, the concepts. But I'm talking about simply that there were guys open that Allen missed. I'm not putting that on Brian Dable. You, have you to, are. You have to put it He's on He's open! <laughs> How are you putting that on him? <laughs> the fact that you're jumping is is really. I put different. cruise control on ten minutes ago because I knew this was gonna happen. So here's here's why I'm not putting that on Allen, right? If it's if Allen, just as just as an example, right? 
there's more to the coaching staff than just Dable, right? You have your entire well, okay. coaching staff, okay. right? So you, have, you have McDermott, you have Dorsey, you have Dable, okay. right? Of those, Dable reports to McDermott. Dorsey yes. report, reports to Dable. We right? think. Likely. 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 Right. So we're in a likely scenario here. Okay. Um, so if Allen is consistently missing open players on certain play concepts, because the Bills only run a certain number of packages, right? It's not, it's not a wide open offense. They only run a really small number of packages as it stands. So if you're consistently seeing guys open, the fact that the ball isn't going their way, if, if, if that's, a, that's a coordinator issue. That's not a player issue. You can't sit there for 17 weeks and tell the quarterback, listen, the last four times we've run this play on the backside, this guy's been wide open. Don't You can't miss that. The quarterback at some point is going to throw an interception on the backside, and everybody's going to say, what the what? What are you talking about? There's systematic problems that are going to happen, and the problem is it's the coordinator. The coordinator is the problem. It's not the quarterback. I'm not absolving him for some of the plays that he called this year. You want to call all those gadget plays inside the 10, I want to choke them, okay? You want to call a very long fourth and one. You call a running play with your quarterback up the middle. I have a problem with some of his play calls. I'm not saying he's the perfect play caller, all right? The only guy who's even come close to being what I, I deem as the top guy the of play calling is Andy Reid, and he is the worst clock management guy ever. That's a fact. Okay. <laughs> So that, that being said, I'm not saying that it was 100% on Brian Dable. If they're elementary concepts and guys are still getting open and you're still not hitting them, obviously if you throw your scenario, if you throw an interception on the backside when you throw it all the time, I understand that. And I also, I'll get on Dable for not tying routes and concepts together. Mm -hmm. Why you run this play in the first quarter is because you want to run something off of it in the third. I right. understand that. However, there were serious gaps in Allen's game that should not be placed on Dable. But that's his job. Oh, really? That's his job. Everybody in America knows on a third down, when job. you're near the 30, you can't take a sack as a quarterback because yeah. now you're out of field goal range. Yeah. You blame that on Dable? So you're Okay, so you're telling me that the third down that Dable put them in is Allen's fault. No, because Allen That's missed what the you line. Just said. Allen missed That's the open guy said. on first and second. Oh God, here we go with the storytelling. You're, no, those are that, facts. That's, this is not. This is not how football works. So if I called, if it's I called, not how football okay, works. Okay, your quarterback. I called play on first down. Receiver on the right side was open. You overthrew it. You overthrew it. Second down and ten. Okay, all right. Second down and ten. Let me go to the sheet. All right, do it again. You missed the in route, the dig. Mm -hmm. And you, and you threw it and it got broken up. All right, it's third and ten. You, now you take a sack. Yeah, no, that sounds like a Brian Dable play sheet because Devin Singletary wasn't getting the football. So it's not, <laughs> that sounds like a Brian Dable play sheet. <laughs> Listen, there's, there's certain playmakers on this team. Beasley is one of them. Yes. Singletary is another, yes. right? You, when you need a play, you get the ball in your playmaker's hands, right? He was under the full belief that Allen was the sole playmaker on that offense. Are and he really was. Are you telling me they took away Singletary, Gore, Knox, and they left John Brown open to beat them. Early no, on? no, 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 no. That's I'm not tying this to the argument early, earlier. What oh. I'm saying is that the whole goal is to get the ball in your playmaker's hands. He failed to do that, which is his job. And there's easy ways to do that, and even the easy ways they didn't do. Listen, bad football teams make bad decisions. Interviewing Brian Dable for a head coaching job is a bad decision. It's the only time on God's green earth he's had a job for two years in a row as an offensive coordinator. And now he's getting head coaching sniffs. With the same team. But he's had jobs in a row with coordinators. Oh, yeah. And that's gone now great. It's, it's gone great. Here's what I want you to do. I want you, I want you to go and get fired because you're terrible at your job four different places. And then you stick around for two years at one place and now you're going to run the joint. Does that sound like a, would, is that somebody you would hire? Listen, millennial. No. Stop going on with millennial. The, stop going on with the extremes. Oh God. Yeah, I didn't say he was the best OC in, in the league. I didn't say he should go run every team. I'm saying I can understand why he's getting head coaching opportunities. Joe Judge got a job. <laughs> okay. If you give me the choice of Pat Shermer versus Joe Judge, I'm taking okay, Pat Shermer. A hundred times. Six days over. a week and twice on Sunday. Hundred times over. That's not even really a question. You son of a biscuit. You got me so fired up right now. What a jerk. Dable.
Dable's the problem, bro. I hate to tell it to you. I hate, I hate to be the one. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Well, if he gets a head coaching job in Cleveland, we'll figure that out next year. All right. I need a young priest and an old priest. 